Hi, this is a very quick video as an answer to a comment of uh, Charles or Charles who was asking me about the possibility of using a dynamic microphone in combination with an H clamp, this is the H clamp here, um, to amplify the bass. Uh, so I was uh, messing around with these kinds of things anyway yesterday, so I thought I will answer in a quick video. Um, yes, so this is definitely possible. Um, one of the questions was if I could, if I would recommend using the microphone position that um, I've shown in the shootout. Um, this won't be possible because um, you would need to have this this arm or this this shaft here to be a lot longer, so that it comes up up here. Um, and if if this if you would have a, uh, an arm that long, the the microphone would be really shaky up here. So I tried some closer positions and this position turned out to be uh, a, a good possibility. I hope you can see what I did. So the microphone is at an angle. It's something like two centimeters from the top of the base. If you can see it. And um, yeah, I've, I've tried to have the microphone even closer to the top or over the F-holes, but um, if you do that over F-holes or closer to the top, you will have... Um, uh, I had the problem that some notes were lower, were, were didn't have uh, as much volume as the other notes. And um, for me, that's a really important thing that when I have an amplification system that the whole range is amplified in the same way. And now with this uh, positioning I found it to be even and I like the sound. So I'm going to show you this. So first without the amplifier. And now the same thing with the amplifier. now the the Fishman Loudbox Artist for this test. This is not a bass amplifier but it still brings out the low uh, frequencies really nice and I sometimes use it for small gigs. Um, okay so that's it for today. Oh yes one more thing you have to beware with the weight of, of your microphone um, especially if you don't turn uh, this microphone holder really uh, really strongly into the shaft you will have the problem that it will fall like this so i would say the sm57 is maybe a maximum as as to what kind of a, a weight the microphone is allowed to have for this kind of amplification so thanks a lot for watching i hope this helps uh, charles and and maybe other people as well um, since you are here i'm going to um, tell you what's coming up uh, next on this channel. Uh, next I will do a, a new clip microphone shootout. There is already an old one but um, I will do a new one. Uh, I have uh, got from um, Kontrabass Werkstatt in, in Frankfurt from Jonas Lose uh, a couple of test microphones. So thank you very much Jonas Lose. The Audix, the Audio-Technica uh, ATM350 um, I have from a friend the DPA and the Ovid from Thoman and the Prodipe. I'm going to, to test all these and for the Audix I also got this thing here. This is called the baseball and the thing is you can put this ball under the bridge and you can put a microphone inside the ball. This is very interesting. So 
This is coming up very soon. And I also got a post from Pirastro, who sent me the Pirastro Perpetuals. I'm very curious to test these. Okay, stay tuned. See you soon. Bye-bye.